Hi, my name is Gianluca Memoli and I am a senior research scientist here at the in the acoustic group at MPL. Uh, well, I say a senior research scientist, but what I really do is I am a bubble scientist. Here in this laboratory and in others uh, in the acoustic uh, module at MPL, we study the interaction between sound and bubbles and how to actually control and measure it so that we can use this to improve the life of all of us. We are trying to investigate the relationship between bubbles and sound and how to exploit that and to use it in uh, industrial or medical applications. I'm talking about ultrasound, so a sound at frequency that is so high that we cannot hear as humans. We start with a bubble and we have a sound wave, which is a change of pressure. And then when the pressure goes down, then the bubble expands. When the pressure goes up, the bubble collapses. And if you repeat this up and down, what your bubbles are doing is like a bit of aerobics. And eventually, and this is the most important thing, when they collapse, the temperature inside the bubble has been measured to be huge. So huge that in some particular applications you can get as hot as the surface of the sun. That's incredible, in my opinion. And this was what probably caught me the first time when I started studying these bubbles. And so that te temperature rise there actually creates a new way to make chemistry and probably also kills the bacteria when you use the bubbles to clean. So in this bottle, I have some marshmallows. And what I'm doing, I'm extracting the air. So the bubbles which are inside the marshmallows will be subjected to a, a lower pressure than the normal one. So, as you can see, the marshmallows expand. But then, when we get the pressure back, the air inside the marshmallows collapse. This phenomenon, when it happens into a liquid, is called cavitation. It's interesting because most of the taste of the food that we have depends on the size of the bubbles. So studying cavitations means studying the food of the future. Uh, what you see here is our um, cavitation reference vessel. So cavitation, which is what we were talking about before, reference, because we want in this place to have a, a special location where we know exactly where cavitation occurs. And this is altogether form a reference for cavitation. Microbubbles are being studied all over the world at, at the moment because they are one of the possible ways to cure cancer in a more effective way. Imagine you can take some medicine and put it on the outside of the microbubble, of a microbubble and then uh, put it in the blood and use sound to take it close to cancer cells. And then when you reach there, you blast them and the medicine is released and it goes inside the cell. This has been demonstrated. It's incredible because now with small tiny amounts of medicine, there is no, long, no longer need for a chemotherapy which will affect uh, badly all your body, but just the bad guy. And what we are doing here is to produce the tools to measure the effectiveness. So to make this really viable, something which will change the life of a lot of people, of a lot of patients. Imagine there is a detection of a cancer every 10 minutes in the UK. Imagine how much it will be better to cure cancer if you could use small tiny bubbles to do that.